Hello everyone, welcome to another automation tutorial. I am Sonam from Pabli team and in this video we will learn how to add your leads from Facebook lead ads to Leads Cut CRM automatically. So imagine that you have created a form in your Facebook lead ad and whenever a new lead is arrived, a new lead is generated in your Facebook account, you want to add the very same lead to your CRM automatically. Here in this video, I am adding my leads to Lead Squared CRM. But let's say if you want to add the very same lead to HubSpot CRM, Zoho CRM or any other CRM, you can actually follow the same process and do the same. But there is no direct connection in between Facebook and Lead Squared CRM. That is why I am going to use Pabli Connect. It is actually an automation and integration software using which I am going to build up the connection in between Facebook lead ad and lead squared CRM. So this is the Facebook page which I have created for my resort and this is the Facebook lead ad form which I have created for collecting these leads. Now you will see when I will be filling out this form the details of mine will be captured, will be added to the lead squared CRM automatically. But first, we will have to build up the connection in between this particular form and in between the lead squared CRM. For that, open your browser and type pabblypabbly.com slash connect in your browser and press enter and you will reach to the dashboard, basically the landing page of our automation software from this blue button create your free account the account creation is absolutely free so that you can actually test these kind of automations okay now I was already logged in that's why I have reached here click on access now and you will reach to the dashboard of Pabli Connect now from this blue button we will start creating our automation give any random name I am giving the name as Facebook leads to lead squared CRM okay all right okay click on create once you will click on create you will see two boxes in front of you trigger and action trigger means when this happens action means do this so our automation is going to work on these two principles so let's understand it with an example when a sale happen in payment gateway application send an email via gmail application another example when a form is submitted let's say google forms share a file via google drive application according to our use case whenever the facebook lead at form is submitted add that lead to lead squared crm automatically i will be setting up the second step later for now i am going to choose Facebook lead ads and our first step is to connect Facebook lead ad with Pabli Connect and choose the trigger event as new lead instant. Click on connect and click on add new connection and once you will click on this button if you are already logged into your Facebook lead ad account you will be connected immediately or otherwise it will ask you the credential okay I am going to select the existing connection because I have recently logged into this software and I am going to use the same credentials now which page I have created so I have created this sunshine resort page so I am going to search for the same this is my page and the form name is actually let me show you the form name is new year's eve i am going to select the same now you will have to click on save and send test request once you will click on this button you will see that it has started waiting for the webhook response so in order to build up the connection in between facebook lead ad and lead squared crm firstly we will have to capture the data capture the lead of facebook lead ad in public connect so for capturing that lead, I am going to make use of Facebook lead ad tool rather than creating the live lead. Okay, so this is the Facebook lead ad testing tool from where you can actually create a dummy entry, dummy lead. Okay, here I am going to select my page which was actually sunshine. Okay, let me search for it. 
here is the page and my form is actually the new year eve it has selected automatically let's preview this form let me show you my form let's create a dummy entry pavli testing name i am adding a testing name let me correct this okay now the number okay and the email id a dummy email id okay all right click on next click on submit and you will see the form has been submitted let's go back to public connect and see whether it has captured the data of my lead which i have just filled out you can see the response is received and let's check the details one by one and you can see the name of the entry is here the number is here the email address is here that means the first step of our integration is successful now i am going to add the very same lead to to the lead squared crm that is why i am going to search for the lead squared crm okay we will be adding this dummy lead here so that we will be able to build up this connection in action event since i want to capture a lead that is why i am going to select this particular action event click on connect click on add new connection it will be asking you few details the access key secret key and api host key so the instruction for the same is actually given here to get your access key login lead squared account go to setting api key webhox api access key okay so let's come back to our lead squared account here you will find the settings option okay click on that and from here from the left hand side the api and webhooks option are visible here click on that and you will find all the details here is the api host okay copy it and paste it here here is the api host the first thing is the secret key from where you will find it click on show secret key and you will find your secret key here copy and paste it here and uh, what is the other thing it is required the access key okay where i will find this access key okay here is the access key copy it the same and paste it in the pabli connect and simply click on save and you will be immediately connected okay now it is asking to fill these details so basically the details of the lead so that we can actually add those details to our lead squared crm i do not have to copy the details from the first step which was facebook lead ad the data is actually visible here only simply open it and simply map the fields one by one and now what is mapping so basically filling out the data of previous step in the next step is called as mapping and whatever the values you are going to map in this fields will be changed automatically generally a lot of people ask me that do they really need to do, do this particular setting again and again no you do not have to do anything again and again simply map the details once and it will be replaced automatically every time a new lead is arrived here i have mapped the email i have mapped the first name leaving the last name empty now it's turn to fill out the phone number field okay in open it okay where is the phone number okay here it is simply select it and i have mapped all the details i am leaving this prospect id and search by in case you want to fill these fields you can do it click on save and send test request and let's see what is the response okay yes you can see the response has been received that means the details of this particular lead has been added to lead squared crm automatically let me check it okay i am going to the lead section of lead squared crm all right and i have added admin at the rate pabli tots leads okay and you can see the pabli testing name the lead which i have filled in the facebook lead ad form has been added to my lead squared crm automatically 
So did you see that how I have established the connection in between Facebook lead ad and lead squad automatically? Generally, people ask me that do they really need to do this particular setup again and again? I am repeating this. Once you have connected these applications using Pabli Connect, the job of Pabli Connect is actually done. Simply close it and whenever now onwards, the form is getting feel the data of the same person will be added to your lead squad CRM automatically, not just these two applications. One can connect multiple application and create different kinds of automation. You can actually visit our channel Pabli and you can find several kinds of automation ideas over there. If you find the video helpful, please like it and thank you for watching.